I can't speak. God damn, do things. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing a video with you about Invisalign. I just got my Invisalign put in a couple of days ago and I wanted to share a little bit of info with you. I put a, a video up on Snapchat and Instagram stories and I've had a few people comment saying, oh, I'd love to hear more because uh, I've been thinking about doing it and I actually have a lot of friends that are either about to get it done or have been thinking about doing it and they're sort of not sure. So I just wanted to share some of the basics with you and my experience over the last few days. Everything that I will talk about today is my experience. Everyone has different teeth. Everyone's teeth need to move in different ways and achieve different end results. So. Not everything that I say will be applicable for everyone else, but it will give you a general idea of how it all works. First of all, I should probably quickly go over what Invisalign is because some people may have no idea. So Invisalign is a sort of clear alternative to traditional braces. You don't have the metal and the wires on your teeth. Depending on where your teeth need to move to, you will have attachments that are bonded onto your teeth. And then you have these clear aligners. Now, this is just a portion of an aligner because this is what they use to attach my bonding, but it will give you an idea of what it looks like. So it's kind of like a thin clear plastic and it's not really noticeable on the teeth. The only part that's noticeable is where your attachments are if they do protrude out a little bit. So basically the uh, attachments are put onto your teeth depending on where they need to move and then you clip these aligners in and that will help manipulate and pull your teeth in different ways. The attachments are the color of your teeth so you can't really see it on your teeth apart from if you're on a certain angle and you know you can see that a little bit sticking out from your tooth. So this is what my Invisalign looks like. So you can see that these ones at the front are not really that noticeable because they don't have attachments, but I think I do have a little attachment there. So this is an attachment. And then I've got a couple down here that will help pull these bottom teeth out. And I've got a couple here and I've just got one on that one. So I don't have too many attachments. Some people do need them like on every tooth, depending on how bad your teeth are. And when you take the trays off, they're even less noticeable because they don't have that bulby bit on there. So yeah, it's not really that noticeable and I think it's a lot better than braces. So the next thing I wanted to go over is why I got Invisalign. The original reason was I have rotated canines on my top and bottom and I went to the dentist and while I was there, I asked him if there was anything that could be done about my canine teeth and you know, could they be shaved down with um, a veneer or something put over them? The dentist said he didn't want to do that. Um, he did a mold of my teeth and showed me that how far we would have to take my tooth away, it would then affect my nerves and I could have long-term damage and basically lose my real tooth. So I didn't want to be doing that. And then uh, he suggested I go to the orthodontist and see if there's anything that we could do. And I was just like, hell no, I am 30 something years old. I am not getting braces, I'm not doing it. So when I went to the orthodontist, she did a mold of my teeth to see sort of where everything was at. And we realized, like I noticed it straight away when she showed me the mold, my bottom teeth at the front were all wearing away from the top. So Basically, we realized that your bottom teeth should sit like this and your top teeth sit over the top. My bottom teeth are kind of like this, so they're wearing down a lot and they're thinning a lot at the top there. So basically, we need to bring my bottom teeth out. Because your bottom and top teeth really need to fit together in a certain way, um, if I was going to do the bottom, then my top would sort of clash with the bottom if that makes sense because my top canines would still be rotated so we have to rotate my top canines 
So that is why I'm getting Invisalign. I know that people will ask me about the price and I will let you know that Invisalign in Australia can range anywhere from around $4,000 to $10,000 depending on the work that you need done. They have Invisalign Light, which is like a starting point where you get 14 trays. If you have work that needs to be done where you're unsure of how it will progress, which is me and my stupid canines that have rotated, your canines are the hardest teeth to rotate. So we looked at doing the light and we realized that we may not be able to fully get them rotated around. So for a bit of a safety net, I went with the full. I'm having 30 trays and the good thing about doing the full Invisalign is that after the 30, if we go, oh, this hasn't really resolved itself, we can go back to them, get more trays and fix things up and it doesn't cost me any extra, it's like a one fee. Um, with regards to costs, a lot of dentists will have payment plans available, however, it's usually a little bit cheaper to pay in full. By the time you do all of the process of getting your molds and checks and making sure you're eligible for the process, then it's usually a good couple of months before you actually have them put on. So. I procrastinated a lot, I investigated a lot, I watched so many videos, and by the time I did that, I was able to save the majority of what I needed anyway. I also wanted to really quickly go over the process with you leading up to Invisalign. Um, you wanna make sure you get a really good orthodontist who's not going to rip you off and do unnecessary treatments. You wanna make sure that your orthodontist does a full entire check of your mouth, your roots, your teeth, everything before they send information to Invisalign or do molds or say yes let's go ahead. So that is my number one tip before you get started is to go to the right orthodontist who knows what they're talking about and who will do it properly and who won't push you into anything that you're not comfortable with and also um, if you find that oh that sounds a bit expensive go and get a second opinion. So now I wanted to go over a couple of pros and cons with Invisalign. So I do like the fact that you eat without the trays in and then you can clean your teeth properly and the trays before you put them back in. So your teeth are constantly kept clean and fresh. Another pro is when you have your trays out, you can't even really tell that you have anything on your teeth unless you're on a certain angle and someone can see that you've got maybe a little bit of like something stuck on your tooth, but it's the same color as your teeth. So it's a lot less noticeable than braces as well if you are worried about your appearance. Some of the cons would be, I guess the attachments, that was probably the worst part of the process was actually having the attachments put on. It wasn't painful or anything, it just took a little while. It was quite noisy, a little bit uncomfortable, but I am not really scared of the dentist. I don't care about those noises so much. If you're someone that freaks out, it may be a bad process for you. The attachments also did feel a little bit scratchy in my mouth for the first couple of days, but you're only exposing them when you're eating. So I found I've sort of gotten used to them now and they do wear down and smooth out over time. It can be a little bit tricky to talk sometimes and over time it does get easier. I really didn't have a lisp. It's very easy to lisp with these in, but if you are a little bit more aware of how you're talking, you can stop it from happening straight away. And the trick with that is to put your teeth together when you're saying it. It's very easy to relax and let your tongue sort of fit at the back of the tray. <laughs> then you have your lisp. In regards to pain, Obviously, when your teeth are moving, you're going to have a little bit of discomfort. I have had a little bit of discomfort removing the trays. I can feel which teeth are being moved. But I know that each new tray you have, um, you will have a little bit of discomfort throughout that movement for the first few days. And then your teeth will sort of settle into that mold. Um, and then you'll be fine until you move on to the next one. So all in all, I have been really happy with the process so far. I don't feel too self-conscious, like I don't think all oh, people are staring at my teeth and you can probably not even tell from this distance that I have something in my mouth. I may be talking a little bit differently though, I'm not sure. 
I think I'm noticing it more than anyone else. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. But if you do have anything more specific that you would like to know, please comment down below and give the video a thumbs up. And if I do have enough questions, I will do a specific Q&A on Invisalign. Uh, but otherwise, I might do an update every few months and I'll try to take photos of each tray so that you can see a time lapse at the end of my process. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.